What is up guys, good old fashioned cola, back here finally for a brand new episode of Animal Crossing City Folk. I want to, ooh, 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 gotta unplug that guy. Ooh, we are, I'm experiencing some technical difficulties. All right. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this nunchuck is probably shot, which is unfortunate. Um, let me try one more thing. Are we, are we good? Huh, just suddenly started working. Okay, cool. So we don't even have to cut away. Let's take a look at 300 Bell's interest. Uh, so, big, big fucking news today. Oh, I never even said what the date was. It's June 11th, 2019. I'm surprised at the lack of weeds that are in the town. I would have thought there would be uh, would be way more than there is. I guess it's it's been a while since I've played City Folk, so I don't know if it goes overboard with the weeds like like all the other games do. But anyways, starting off here, uh, we've got some great great video game news because it's E3 week. So uh, just touching down, I didn't write any of this shit. Like I wrote three topics down and I did not go in depth with them at all uh... do I want any of this shit? I don't think I do um... Microsoft had a pretty solid press conference let me take a sip of coffee um... but Halo Infinite looks amazing uh... just graphically they didn't really show any gameplay off but uh... just from the the engine look Looks amazing. I was just checking to make sure that we are recording. I have not recorded anything in like two months, so to hop back into it is a little weird, like always. Uh, but uh, what else did Microsoft show off? There was another game that I was like, ooh, that looks good. I can't think of it right now. Uh, something about Ghosts in Tokyo was shown off at Ubisoft? or Square, I can't remember which one. Uh, it looked kind of interesting, but the, the meat and potatoes of E3 for me is always Nintendo and whatever they're doing, and they definitely, definitely knocked it out of the park. They opened up with a Smash character, or at least the first thing I saw, was uh, the hero from Dragon's Quest, or Dragon Quest, uh, which I've never played Dragon Quest, so I didn't get too hyped for that. But then, once I saw Luigi's Mansion, and they brought back Scarescraper mode, and they've got multiplayer with Guigi, I was all over that shit. I was very, very hyped for that. Uh, what else did they show in terms of stuff I was hyped for? I wish I could run through their entire... I actually can. Let me pull up my phone. Good old Kotaku will tell me what I need to know while I catch this fish. Bam. You are a fucking asshole. Uh, the sequel to Breath of the Wild was the final thing they did. And me and my coworker, we watched E3 together last year uh, in the back room while we were doing uh, delivery bullshit. But uh, let's catch this snail if I can. Mmm, a little rusty. But... That... <laughs> that was a damn near freeze. I didn't like that at all. It's probably because I have so much bullshit open for school. Uh, by the way, I'm taking three summer classes, so don't expect a lot of videos, because... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna totally get ass-blasted by school. Because I'm an idiot. But... Uh, the big news, besides Breath of the Wild, would have to be Animal Crossing New Horizons, I believe. That's what that's called? Yeah, New Horizon. Uh, it got delayed until 2020. March 20th, 2020, I believe, is the, the tentative date that they set. But uh, I've heard a lot of people bitching and saying that it looks kind of soulless, which, I mean, did you not see New Leaf? New Leaf, I thought, was, like, the most soulless but this one kind of looks like they're they're thinking about changing shit up. Like, they've added a lot of, like, crafting elements, 
which is kind of cool. And people are like, where's all the stores? Where's Tom Nook's store? Where's all the stores from New Leaf? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you just have to think, like, they literally just showed you gameplay. Uh, they're not going to show you everything in this one direct. You have to you have to give it a little bit of time. And who knows, maybe they, they aren't coming back. You don't know. Uh, Nintendo likes to switch everything up. Or not switch everything up, but... Uh, change, change like main gimmicks of each game. Like this has the city. New Leaf had like that strip area. Uh, Wild World. I don't know what Wild World in the original had in terms of like gimmicky type shit. It was like the idea of Animal Crossing was still kind of fresh then. They didn't have to add like a new element. But uh, hopefully you're not the mayor. I don't want to have to worry about my money in multiple different ways of like paying off my house and all that fun stuff. Uh, I just didn't like being mayor. Didn't care for it. Uh, but what was the what was the other thing? Banjo, Banjo fucking Kazooie in Smash Brothers. Can you guys fucking believe that? I never thought I would ever see the day. Uh, Banjo Kazooie was like one of the first games I ever played. I remember being a little kid and getting dropped off at uh, the Eagle's Nest in Giant Eagle. I think that might actually just be like an Ohio and Pennsylvania store. If it's not, uh, great, then people know what I'm talking about. It's a big grocery store, uh, but they have like a daycare area. If you are a bad kid and your parents are like, God, I don't want to fucking deal with you while I grocery shop. Uh, and they used to have N64s in there. And I played Banjo-Kazooie there, and I had an N64. So then after that, I was like, oh my God, I need this game. So three-year-old, four-year-old me was like, Mom, Dad, I need Banjo. So then I had Banjo and Bomberman and Hey You Pikachu. Those were like the first video games I ever remember playing next to like like Mario and shit uh, on the original Ninten uh, Nintendo. Uh, so to see Banjo with everybody in Smash is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, so overall... I think I say this every year, I think Nintendo won once again. Uh, Sony absolutely take a, took a big fucking shit, obviously, by not having anything. You don't have anything to show, really. <laughs> or you couldn't have done, like, a direct. I, I know, I think it was them who started doing directs as well. Maybe Microsoft did them, too. Uh, but, like, you don't have to have a full stage show. Nintendo... Nintendo shows that every year that you don't have to have a big presence at E3, but you have to at least say, like, oh, hey, we're working on this. Get excited for this. I, I mean, how are you supposed to build hype? I mean, I might just be biased because my PlayStation 4 Pro uh, is taking, like, the world's largest shit. Every time it has to play a game, it just turns off and completely, like, acts like it just... Uh, like, I don't even know. It's something... I've heard multi multiple problems. Like, it's a hard drive failure. You'd think, like, my shit would get erased. Like, it would become corrupted. Nothing has ever corrupted on me. Uh, I've heard it's a power cord issue. I've heard your TV might be sending a signal that resets your PlayStation every time it fucking plays a game. I don't understand, because I can watch Netflix and Hulu just fine. If anybody knows or has had this issue, please let me know so, like, I know my PlayStation isn't, like, possessed or something. Because, mm. ooh, coffee burp. I can't find anything online about it. Other than, like, people complaining. Like, I can't find anybody being like, oh, well, Sony said it's this, or Sony said, yeah, we'll give you... We'll fucking fix it for you, blah, 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 just send it in. Uh, and even if you did do that, I'm sure they'd just send you some broken-ass refurbed console anyways they wouldn't even send you yours back uh but a while ago uh during that long stretch where i wasn't recording i hacked my wii u so i can play gamecube games on there i beat the original pikmin what else did i beat luigi's mansion and uh i started playing the original animal crossing again uh and i put some Game Boy advance games on there too and ds what's up dell What'll it be? G-Rock? I fuck with that. 
Re. I forgot I made him say re. Uh, there's lots of fucking snails out. But we have to discuss about some albums that came out during our time away from each other. Uh, which ones did I really like? Anderson Pax Ventura is really good. Silverstein did a, a redo album uh, where they recorded a bunch of old songs again uh, with like better production. Uh, Heart Attack Man's Fake Blood is probably my, my front runner for album of the year. It might be a little bias because they're from Cleveland. Uh, but Eric's a really fucking awesome dude. I've talked to him a bunch of times. He's always at shows around. And then uh, even when you go see them, he's always at the merch table like the whole time before and after their set. Uh, so if you ever catch Heart Attack Man on tour, go talk to Eric. He's really nice. Uh, and listen to Fake Blood. Uh, what else was really good? Secret Band, which is Dance Gavin Dance and some other moving parts. I don't know who else is in the band. There's a couple other guys. Uh, but without Tillian, uh, they put out a record just called LP2. Uh, but it's super good uh, if you're into that kind of hardcore, metalcore, I don't know, post-hardcore. Yeah, they're probably more post-hardcore. Uh, Schoolboy Q's album, Crash Talk, was super good. Uh, Aaron West in the Roaring Twenties, which is... Uh, Soupy from the Wonder Years, it's his side project, uh, is super, super good. Tyler, the creator's Igor, is getting the uh, the recognition it deserves with the number one spot, pissing off DJ Khaled, which is fantastic, because that man has no talent. Uh, but Tyler, Tyler's super, super good. I really fuck with Igor. It's, it's really different. Uh, if you're looking for something more, like, experimental from the rest of his stuff... Which is a lot to say since, like, uh, was it Cherry Bomb or was it Wolf that was more experimental? I can't remember. I think it was Cherry Bomb. Uh, but Flying Lotus uh, put out a really good album. We got some more here. No, don't retweet my own tweet. Uh, Better Oblivion Community Center put out a really good record. That is Phoebe Bridgers and Connor Oberst. Uh, their voices fit together like a fucking puzzle. It's really weird. Uh, but just to... Just to... Uh, what the fuck am I trying to think of here? I love Phoebe Bridgers. Her fucking album... Oh, what is it called? Is it just called Smoke Signals? Or is it called Motion Sickness? I can't remember. But it's really fucking good. And you sh should give it a listen. Uh, Beast Coast, which is like... Joey Badass and Flat Flatbush Zombies and Kirk Knight. Uh... It's like a total hip-hop supergroup. They put out a really good album. Remo Drive, Dangerous Summer, Motionless and White. Carousel Kings was a pretty good record. Uh, John, the singer from Trophy Eyes, just released a record, which is really good. As Cities Burn came back with a really solid record. Uh, I think that's it for now. But uh, what's some records I'm really hyped for? I don't think anybody's really, like, announced anything. This record's been... Or this record. This year's been kind of like a down year for music. Not to say, like, everything's bad, but, like, nothing has, like, jumped out at me. Like, damn, this is something I'm going to listen to for, like, the rest of my fucking life. Like, it's not like... Like, if Modest Mouse dropped something... I, I don't even want to say that because it's, like, biased for me to be like, oh, if my favorite band puts out a fucking album this year... Oh my god, I'm going to love it. It's going to be a masterpiece. Like, sometimes bands put out stuff that isn't an instant classic, you know? Uh, did I talk about how much I like uh, Bring Me the Horizon's new record? It's very different, and I like how it's pissing people off. That it's not, like, traditional metalcore or, like, old Bring Me the Horizon style. I think it was a, a good turn for them. And I bet you I could see them going back. And doing like some heavier stuff because they they still play heavy stuff live and they seem to really enjoy it like they keep going back and bringing old songs up that they haven't played in years uh but anyways i just wanted to make this quick video just to talk about all the hype i have around nintendo and their their direct uh so anyways i'm good old-fashioned cola and i will see you guys back here next time